I'm talking about flying sharks Meh. that what? swirl it around in a tornado, and if you get caught, you get bit. What are you talking about? Let me fix you up, Scud. Let me fix you up, Tony. Uh, uh, I'm sorry to him. I'm sorry. You're okay. I'm so about. much brotherly love. I love it. Uh, uh, what's up, y'all? Like, we just dropped, man, on Cinematic Bill and at T Vezel on, on Instagram. Go tune in. And I just dropped some flicks for the track meet that happened last week. Go tune in at that, too. And on YouTube, at T Vezel, the same thing. Go like, comment, and subscribe. And share to all your friends. And welcome to Single My Memoirs. <laughs> Yeah, shout out single mom memoirs, the ratchet aunties, don't be petty nail bar, and she do hair. Get out of, stop playing with, and we just talent all over. We got the best drawer in the building right now. At, at, at QP dot or underscore? Q dot P underscore visions. You heard it. Go follow him. Get at him. Oh, bro. It's and, talent all around. And that's what's funny, because that's actually what this episode is about. It's about creatives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we have the type of family where it's very non-traditional. The way that I raise my sons, it's, it's very different. And I really appreciate it. But what I appreciate out of all of that is, again, is all the talents that we have between the three of us here. The only time that creatives thrive the best is when, I, when they're in an environment where they're around other creatives. I have been doing media since 2000... Mm. Ooh, 2004. 14. 13? Oh, dang. Since 2013. It might have been a little bit earlier than that. Definitely. Maybe. But, but I've been doing media since 2013. However, it wasn't a full-time thing for me because I didn't take it seriously. It was just something that I just did as a hobby. I was like, cool, I could talk a little bit. I look decent on the camera. Why not try it? But yeah, it actually turns out that it's pretty easy for me so let's just keep it going join on the sevens with ella mac j it's your girl ella mac j here ella mac j for ella mac j we're on the sevens seven topics in seven days and under seven minutes so let's get it watch as she speaks on positive news social topics sports and more tune in every friday afternoon as she brings you seven topics from seven days in under seven minutes it's never too late to join the combo. So I knew if I had this talent, and their father is also talented. So if you have two talented parents, the children are bound to have some great skill. Yeah. Now what I'm even more happy about is that this man here, okay, this little Q Dizzle here. I can't call him little because he's bigger than me now. But Q is finally starting to tap into his creativity and I am loving it. Yeah, so Q is, is getting into, he getting into his bag of drawings, okay? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we can share a little something. I don't know if he's ready yet. He probably is because he has an Instagram page. But we'll uh -oh. go ahead and put a little bit up there for you to see too. You heard what we said at the beginning. Get at him. Get at him, please. QP Visions. Uh, what was your interest in drawing? Like, what made you interested? Got that boy thinking. Started at a, a book fair in about sixth grade, I have to say. I had bought a Pokemon book, believe it or not. <laughs> and it was, it was colored. It had pictures to where if you flip through it, there'll be pictures of the Pokemon colored in and everything. Oh. And I took... Some of the some of the uh, people in the book, and I just started like, you know, looking at it and then just copying it onto paper, and then those are my first couple of drawings was just the um, the Pokemon, and then I eventually started to gravitate towards more real life stuff. My first um, drawing outside of Pokemon was to make a I. The eye, an eye was my first real drawing outside of the Pokemon. Mm -hmm. And 
that's one of my favorite things to draw now. I do anything really, but I'm trying to get into self portraits. But it's just it's 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 gonna come soon, so yeah, because his the the hyper realism that he creates with just a pencil and paper is super dope. Like, Crazy. I mean, not only that, but he's like hyper handsome, and I think he should model as well. But we'll get into that later. <laughs> um, this 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 guy here, okay? Yeah, baby. This, hey. <laughs> this. How you come? <laughs> so now he is like fully immersed into videography work and photography. Um, make sure y'all check him out, as he said from before. At Cinematic Bill, get at me on Instagram. <laughs> Interested in photography and videography? That's a great question. If we're being honest here, it's just something that I seen. I was like, oh, that looks fun. Let me try it. So I tried it, <laughs> fell in love with it instantly. And it's funny because my father, he also did photography and, and music videos and all that stuff. So it kind of just, you know what I'm saying? I picked up on it too. What was the first thing that you shot that you that you knew that you loved it? Ooh. Dude. Because this, <laughs> he been taking video even on his, uh, <laughs> well, you both of them actually used to take video on their, on their Game Boy. Or the Nintendo, what was the little thing the called? DS. Oh, the, uh, the DS. DS. Yeah, the, the DS. Yeah, the they used to take video on the DS. The <laughs> DS, ooh wee. Dang, that's like a great you question. Have... Probably, maybe. Okay, are we talking a picture or a video? Either. I did that to me. Hey. Oh, I did that to me. Hey, okay, I, I, this, cause I, I'm definitely not gonna be able to pick like one. I give y'all my top three for videos and pictures. The one that you fell in love with? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna go first, second, third, okay? So my first picture, right, my homie Travis, he does music, which we just did a music video, get at us, that's why I said drop. Anyways, we just recently did it, came out so clean. Um, my second picture, it's actually Quentin was there. I had took this picture of my friend, her name is Wendy. Um, super beautiful, super gorgeous. Um, great, a great model. And the pictures came out really nice. I actually took it at the school, actually. Oh, what can I put as my third one? Oh, oh, okay. I was at a birthday party at um, Up Your Alley. And it was a picture of this kid and um, my homie Eli. My homie Eli. Super, super clean. I made some edits to it and all. Like the kid was holding a, a bowling ball and it was just, mwah, you know what I'm saying? And for my videos, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Number one video? It's the one that I shot with Dork, definitely, because that was just a great experience. Like, oh, okay, yeah. All, definitely. all over mm -hmm. um, it's My second one, I gotta be most proud of, I can't remember the name of the song, but it was a video, it was another music video that I shot with uh, my, my boy Travis. We were like at the mall and we were getting like random clips. I also got some really dope pictures there too, but... We were at the mall, you know, getting random clips. We actually did a few good scenes there too. So that has to be my second. And my third, this hasn't dropped yet, but <laughs> it's a Valentine's Day shoot that we did. Oh. 
Oh. Chef's kiss, huh? Spectacular. Slap slaptacular. Slaptacular. Yeah. That's different. I didn't even know that he was interested in this because when we first started Sing on My Memoirs, right? Like, they would be all huffy when it's time for us to record. So I didn't think neither one of them liked it. I mean... But it's funny because now they're like, all right, cool, ma. <laughs> I guess I just had to prime y'all for it. Ah, oh, shoot. Now, with your talent, do you think that the things that you guys enjoy doing now, drawing and cinematography and videography work, would you... Would you choose that to be your like your career? No, most definitely. Why no, Q? I have different things in mind to do. That's just something I do for fun. Okay. Now I have had creep. I've been creative my whole life. I was trying to fit in in a regular, a regular society, because um, there's either usually the consumer, or the producer. I always have been, the producer. Because I, I felt like I shouldn't have to pay for these things because I know how to do them. <laughs> so with me having these talents, I didn't get, I didn't give myself a chance to stay in the field long enough for me to reap the fruits of what it is that I did. So with seeing them, even if it's just a hobby for Q or for something that Zaya wants to do full time, it's nice to see your children play those things out right in front of you. Because even for my parents, they didn't get a chance to do the things that they liked. So I never got a chance to see them happy doing like their hobby outside of uh, small things like cooking dinner or spending time together. But when it came to hobbies or interests, it wasn't too much light on that. So I want to make sure that in our family that they had a chance to both be creative and to be well-rounded. And also, if you want to try it, to say that there's room for you to try it. There is no traditional 9 to 5, especially now with everything being digitized and a lot of things that you want to do is online or with social media. So, being a creative, I want to say now is probably the best time because it shows people just how creative you are. You can be a little bit or you can be a lot of bit, but the only thing that's going to distinguish you from any anyone else is your consistency, your talent, and how much you believe in yourself. So I just want to say to you guys, like, you know, I want to give y'all a nice bow and hand of applause, round of applause for you guys actually going for the things that you are enjoying because it's not an easy space to to maneuver because sometimes you won't make money sometimes you won't have clients but you still have to produce a product in order for you to be consistent and that's what a lot of people lack I'm glad that you guys enjoy your talent mm -hmm. thank you you're, you're welcome you're welcome now when it comes to our production since they will be getting older well they are older now but they'll be <laughs> Leave my side. Oh my god! So soon, now I have to figure out how to just be me. And that's gonna be weird, because what's life without mothering? <laughs> See that? I mean, like, seriously. Eh. I've been I've been a mother longer than I've been myself. But anywho, so make sure you are pouring into your children. You're talking about the things that they want to do. Please do not push them to do the things that you wanted to do when you were their age, because that's not... That's not living their life. Don't vicariously live through your children just because you want them to do something. Allow them to make their own mistakes and to go through their talent if they have one. And please, please don't downplay their talent if they have one. So, y'all know what it is. Until next time, make sure y'all manifest, manifest daily, daily doses.